hey, are you angry comments saying, why did you see this shit instead of Tonner <laughs> Directions to the YouTube Corbin. I'm Rick. And follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. And Patreon yeah, official Twitter account. That's where we Twitter. Uh, and today, uh, that was quite pleasant. Why? Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> we saw it was a big weekend at the box office this weekend. A lot of the most I've seen released at one time here. Um, there's like four. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously we saw Chipak. On uh, Friday, correct, uh, and then uh, this one, which is the big box office, the of big the weekend, uh, Danaji, the unsung warrior, the unsung warrior, correct, uh, directed by Om Rot. How would you pronounce that? Rot, Rot, yep. Om Rot, and it's based on the life of. Uh, I don't know the last one. Yeah, that one's a. Uh, it is based on the life of Tamaji. Malasari, a 17th century Marathi military leader. Okay. Um, yes. And uh, that is accurate. Starring AJ Devon, Saif Ali Khan. Which I've learned, for the, you're going to be very pleased with this, everybody. Don't stop typing. What? What? Are, what are Ajay? Ajay. Ajay. Devgun. Devgun. Ajay Devgun. Devgun. Ajay Devgun. Ajay Devgun. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And Sartaj. And Sartaj. <laughs> And Sartaj and Kajol, and then Which also, is also um, we've been saying that wrong too. I think that's actually his actual wife in real life too. Who's Ajay Devgan? You mean uh, Ajay Devgan? Sure. I think their husband and wife. Kajol. Yeah, Kajol. Kajol. It's not, we've been saying Kajol, and it's Kajol. Well, this is not the review. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and then but also, them right. also uh, Luke Kenny. I thought you were going to say Luke Skywalker, who we know as the. Badass white boy from Sacred Games. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, this was actually the most full theater we've ever been. And saying that, they always put the foreign films in, in the, the smallest, smallest theater. theater. So <laughs> there was probably like 25, 30 seats. 30 seats. Tops. And there were probably 30 seats and 20 of them were full. Yeah. Right? Usually we're in the theater. 25? Yeah. Usually we're in the theater alone. Yeah. Yeah. Or there's one other person. So obviously we were... We, we know you yelled at us to watch this one uh, and everything like that. Really yeah. happy to see people come out and support it. And when we left, I could see a lot of people in the, a lot of Indian people obviously in the lobby who were either, who were probably coming in to see the film. Because when we walked out, they were out there. So yeah. very so that's, nice to see that's that. That's wonderful to see. Um, I want to start with some of the stuff I really, really, really enjoyed. I think first and foremost, I have to talk about Sartash. Yeah, we'll both of them. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. Guys. We're going to talk about uh, yep. AJ Devon, but I want to talk. My favorite part is Sartaj, Saif Ali Khan. We call him Sartaj because we first found out in the Sacred Games. Yeah, exactly. Um, man, he needs to play more villains. More bad guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. A, he so plays he a really, really good, good bad really guy. Good bad guy and it looks like he's having the time of his life. I know, he made me. I was like, dang, I want to play that role yeah. now. That, he looks like he's having... And you know what I loved? Mm. He didn't make the bad guy like your stereotypical bad guy. Mm -hmm. He didn't need to be deranged too much. No. He didn't need to have anything really particularly evil about him. He just... He actually was a bad guy who seemed to enjoy being a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was a uh, psychopath, yeah. essentially. He's just like, if something went wrong, he's like, all right, I'm going to kill somebody. And yeah, someone's going to die for this. <laughs> My sword's and, out. I <laughs> Well, yeah. I have to kill somebody. Well, that is a rule. That, is that's like a rule for a lot of the warrior cultures. Like, it? remember, for the sick taking out their sword, yeah. you cannot sheath it. If you unsheath it, blood has to touch it. Really? So it's like it's the rule for a lot of the warriors gotcha. in India of don't take it out of the sheath. And literally, like, if you take it out of the sheath, you gotta, blood's got to get on it. Oh, so, wow. yeah, he brings that. By the way, if you haven't seen this... We're gonna talk about what's in the film. Yeah, so I'm sure all of you. Have you probably seen have all seen this it. This is now. like a big blockbuster already. Yeah. I, I know it made already. But I agree, he was a lot of fun. He was so much fun. He did a great job. I want to. We still need to see the 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 Jack Sparrow one. Uh, <laughs> Dude, you know what I mean by so that. So mad. If you've been on the channel, you know what I mean by that. <laughs> um, but uh, that Omkara, uh, even in uh, Sacred Games, he 
geared sometimes towards a villainish mm -hmm. role, mm -hmm. even though he, he was more of like a uh, a hero that kind yeah, of... Yeah, who got pushed to the edge. Yeah, and yeah. so he, I think he plays that very, very well. And I know that's not how his career started. Mm -mm. His career started like uh, Don't Shut the High. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm loving that. I'm loving me some Sartaj. Me too. We could talk about AJ Devon. Or, I, I can't remember. AJ Devgun, thank you. AJ Devgun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who you guys think we ignore all the time, which I never thought we did. I, me too, but I do know this. We've not talked much about him because, in all honesty, for the limited amount that we've seen him, we've liked him but haven't been blown away. Yeah. There hasn't been anything we've seen where it's been we just... Don't. And we've only seen Drishyam and uh, Omkara. Yeah. I believe we're the only two. That's it. And we, we didn't dislike him in it. It was just nothing that made us jump up and down and go, who is this guy? Yeah. For me... Of the three things we've seen with him, this is the thing I liked him in the most. Yeah, I liked him in this, and, uh, well, I mean, I guess it's very different. He plays the hero oh, in this. 100%. On Omkar, he plays the main, but villain. Right. I mean, everybody in that film's a villain. Right. Uh, and then in uh, Drishyam, it's more of a ensemble-ish kind of thing. It is, and he's very, he's solid. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with what he presents in Drishyam at all. Yeah. He did a good job, enjoyed him. There was, um, you know what he reminded me of in this? He captured, for me, uh, the same warrior spirit mm -hmm. and, and, and pride that we saw Akshay do. Yeah, and then Kasari. And Kasari. Absolutely. Reminded me, and I enjoyed him in this as much as I enjoyed Akshay and yeah. Kasari. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, one of the other, uh, you, Kajol and uh, I think there was another actress as well. Or Kajol. Uh, yes. We're trying, trust um, us. Um, they didn't get a lot of screen time mm -mm. Uh, in it, so but they did well with what they had. Yeah. Uh, but also, I do want to talk about uh, Luke Kenny. Mm -hmm. The dude is good. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't even recognize him. <laughs> didn't even recognize him. <laughs> I didn't. Like, I know. At all. I know. Not at all. Um, and so that's that was great to see. And he did great. He did great. And he played a completely different character. Totally different Which is another character. reason I didn't recognize him. I was like, where's... Didn't you where's say... Psychopath White Boy? When we were watching Sacred Games, didn't you say he reminded you of Paul Bettany? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Which again, a huge compliment. Paul Bettany huge compliment. Favorite American actors. actors, Paul Bettany for actors British. that know acting. Oh no, I mean America oh, in God. America God. for America who know actors here in American cinema. Yeah, uh, Paul Bettany is a name that most actors here will say. Oh, stud, great yeah. actor, he's, like they would Andrew Scott, stud yeah. actor. They're, yeah, he, he's he's really really good. Yeah, I like him a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know what else I really liked in this? What? I like the comic relief. Yeah, um, I thought it was. <laughs> I loved. I heard you laugh. Out. We didn't sit several times. The theater was full, so we actually didn't sit together. We were two rows. Yeah, I was up at top, and he was right in front of me. But I heard him audibly. Yeah, there were several moments that I found really funny with the yeah. guy who goes to send the messages, the traitor to yeah. Saif. Yeah. And the sound effect that they chose with the. It was like a three idiots it almost. Was. Like a, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like a deflating. It, you know, flaccid sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> flaccid sound flaccid effect. Flaccid sound effects. Interesting. Speaking of sound, mm -hmm. that's another thing I yeah, would we... say about the, the, the movie that I like. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's more... There's only one thing I don't like about the film. We could talk about that later. And we'll talk about that at the end, because yeah. that, that's the only thing anybody's talking about they don't like. Yeah. And we went into it excusing that and yeah. going, we're not going to make that anything but that I... stops us from... Enjoying whatever we're presenting. I did agree. the 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 sound was really, really the sound good. Sound was great. The songs were good, but I think the score was even better than the the songs. I thought the score was fantastic. I thought the songs were great. But didn't the score some? Wasn't that like KGF, almost to a T? Sometimes. Almost. Um, uh, well. Yeah. And then they went into. Yeah, but we've heard that really? like from the score at the same kind of intervals in Vikram Veda. Is it? Yeah, that's, okay. it's, it's a, I think it's a very South Indian okay, sounding, gotcha. I think that was intentional. They're telling a South okay. Indian story gotcha. to capture that musical resonance, yeah. you know, because it's right it, when, it is. Right when oh, I came on, on, I was like, that's, because uh, I listened to those songs a lot. Uh, yeah, that's, it <laughs> sounded like a, da 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 And it pumps you up. Big time. Like, you need that in your workout playlist, just the, da 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 
and then write it as you're done. Yeah, I was thinking that the very the very opening battle sequence when they're going through the little canyon and they're going down the ropes at them. Mm-hmm. When that song was playing, I was like, oh man, I'm putting that on the playlist because yeah. I want to hear that at the gym. Yeah, and so yeah, I really enjoyed the score. I thought the, the sound the, in particular. Yeah, the, the, I think the sound like the even like the musical numbers were good, but I think the 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 score behind the film was even better than the the two or three. But I'm talking, songs. I'm talking even like oh, the sound mixing, like sound you know, mixing gotcha. and sound effects. Yeah, like I really appreciated it. In fact, it was so good I didn't notice it. When I, you know when I noticed the sound, hmm. I noticed how good the sound was in the final fight between Ajay we'll and Saif. Yeah, we'll talk about that. And when Saif is hitting his shield over and over again, and I I, I thought you know what. The sound has been so good throughout this, I've never noticed anything about it, which means they've just been doing it so good mm-hmm. that I've believed everything I've heard. And that's a good segue into what else I really enjoyed. A lot of the action scenes in this oh, were great. Epic, like, from, the, from the get-go. Yeah. It was yeah. really creative. And the the pacing of the film, it's just non-stop. Yeah, like the... the fight to fight to fight so to fight. You have the sound going, and then you have them... Uh, they drop the hornets, which... They only stuck in the bad guys, which was nice of the Hornets. It was great of the Hornets <laughs> to do that. I'm so glad that they were rooting for Ajay and his team because they only stung the bad guys. That was one of the things I noticed right away. I was right like, away. Hmm, yeah. where'd the Hornets go? Oh, they're still stinging them. Okay, <laughs> that's, right. that's good. Of course. But I, I trained I, Hornets, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy that whole sequence, though. Like, it was really creative. It was very creative. And in a lot of ways, they did a lot of stuff. Like when they went up the wall in the final battle yes. scene. I Very that original. Was really cool. Great fight choreography, great stunt work. Yeah. Um, and then the final fight scene that with between uh, Saif and yeah. uh, Ajay. Ajay Devin. Uh Dev- Epic. <laughs> what I, I'm not gonna get it's it. Okay. I'm not gonna get it. You it's know okay. who I'm talking about, AJ Devin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um sorry, I d I don't know. But yeah, the the final fight scene between them two was Epic. I thought it was great, and it was beautiful. There's certain shots in there, um, like when they we first he was coming on the horse, and then Saif mm-hmm. came over, over that, and that, jumped that, at that him. One shot, yeah. It was like I'm not gonna say the film, but it was epic and beautiful. And I didn't expect, in case any of you haven't seen the film yet, I didn't expect to. Um, I was expecting something else to happen with Ajay's sword than what happened mm. at that moment when they're doing this. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought that was cool what he did. Yeah. Um, we I don't kind of don't want to give that away because it's a climactic part of the film. Yeah. In case you haven't seen it yet. But, um, yeah, I loved that. I loved that part. I loved you. We learned a lot in this. I like and Sight Sword is one of the yes. coolest things I've ever seen. And that that's something. Okay, here we come into this and everything we just saw in this film. Mm-hmm. This is a story we don't know. No. And it's culturally something we're ignorant to as well. Yeah. So one thing that's really important to us when we see films, like when we go and we see uh, 1917, mm-hmm. we're going to know if they got the historicity right and if they got the costuming right and if they got some of the battle sequences right based on the fact that we have prior knowledge of World War One. Yeah. We don't know anything about this. Yeah. So I allowed this to be more yeah. for us like fantasy, almost yeah. like Game of Thrones. Yeah, and, and we know it's not. We know uh, it's not. But, but obviously we we're... can't we can't say whether his sword was historically accurate. No. Or any of these sequences were None. historically accurate. We have no clue. There's other reviews for the smart historical side of it. Yes. This <laughs> is our stupid reaction. If you want the smart reviews, <laughs> go to the other channels. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's nothing about that, but I First, when he first grabbed awesome. his sword and he was grabbing the like the, what is it, the the bottom part of the sword, I was like, how is he not cutting his hand? Yeah. And he's just punching people with it. Punching people with it. But he used it as a weapon on a yeah. day. So he was holding the bottom of the uh-huh. sword, but the sword appears really strong. But well, then and he, it's obviously not a double-edged sword because he spins it around and starts beating him with the handle. Yeah, it has a hammer side. Yeah. It has a little stabby side. Well, like a stabby side and then this stabby side. <laughs> And I was like, that's, I've never seen that. It's awesome. You ought to buy this sword, my friend. This is on sale today. It's got a stabby side. And then another, and then side. another side, it's got a stabby little stabby part. And you flip it over and you can hammer the guy. <laughs> it's got a stabby side and a hammer side. And a little stabby side on a hammer side. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I really enjoyed that. The final battle scene was really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, and all that. And so I could definitely see why Indians are going crazy for this. 100%. As they yeah. are. Yeah. Especially one, they're invested in this. They know this the story. story. Uh, and also the atmosphere. Like, I think we would have enjoyed it even more if... Because 
our audience, even though it was full, and most, oh, I mean, we're all, we're both white, of course, and the only white people in there. Yeah. Um, the they, boy. They're more like, it was quiet. There wasn't any they cheering. Were, someone gave them tranquilizers. <laughs> That's just how Americans watch film. Uh, yeah, there's not, no standing Not up. me. I'm the loudest one in the theater. <laughs> so if, You know I'm in there. Uh, but yeah, they were, were cool because I, I could tell, like, if we were in India, people would be like, especially like the opening sequence. Like, oh, yeah. Like, Everybody's just the like... Minute, the minute you saw a J on the screen, I'm sure they were screaming and jumping up and down. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. I will say, I did love, because I was right in the middle between these, these two families... It made me very happy that I got some of the jokes because I would laugh and the guy next to me was laughing at the exact same thing. And I'm like, oh, cool, I'm tracking with you. That was very affirming for me. <laughs> <laughs> do you call him uncle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do that. But we did hold hands in the scary parts. That's good. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. Like, I, The only thing, I, I went into it expecting this, and it's what I saw in the trailer, and that was my worry, and it was the CGI. Yeah, guys, we gotta, we gotta be honest. Sorry. It's awful. Yeah. And it, not, it's just, not, especially towards the beginning. But, but that's what's weird. Okay, so... I think they just stopped relying on it as much. Yeah. Because maybe. maybe it was very heavily CGI in a lot of parts. True. And so you know, and also, we didn't see it in 3D. Because one, I hate 3D. Two, yeah. they don't yeah, well, offer they it here. They weren't showing it's, it's it. It's showing 3D. it in two screens in LA and on their smallest screen. But here's the thing. It was so um, consistently awful compared to... Uh, listen to this whole sentence. It was so consistently awful compared to the standards that we've been accustomed to with CGI mm -hmm. that it looked intentional. Yeah, it might have been. Like they were stylistically presenting to you almost a half animated version of the legend maybe you know what i mean yeah uh be, if, if that's what they were doing it, it worked yeah and but, i could see especially young people like really young going with moms and dads seeing the story being yeah. very captured by what would be viewed more as animation than it would be cgi trying to get yeah. realism certain times it just looked like a computer like at, in the final climax, even though the scene was great, like the horse running, it just looked like a, 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 a computer horse. horse. Uh, but in so, other spots, they got it right. Yeah. Like there's a key person who loses an appendage. Mm -hmm. And when the appendage is lopped off, the CGI is awful. Mm -hmm. But then the rest of the time with the appendage missing, mm -hmm. it's great. Yeah, sometimes it was, it, like, I think in the, they spent most of their money maybe. And we know they don't spend a lot. And I'm not even comparing it to Hollywood films. No, 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 I'm no. I'm comparing no. it to Kasari. Well, yeah, everything uh, else. Ramabat, Bajaramastani. Ramabat, And it was subpar to all of those 100%. in terms of CGI. The worst CGI we've seen. Yeah. Uh, unquestionably. Um, well, it, it was, but, yeah. but uh, as far as the whole of it. Yeah. But again, it may have been a, a choice. Obviously yeah, a budget be. choice, but it may have been a style choice. Yeah. And it, because we went in, if you go in thinking to yourself, I'm not expecting the CGI to, to look real. Yeah. They've gone for some artistic expression to make this more of a historic epic yeah. and make it feel more like a tale and a story from legend and not the believability part of it. Yeah. Which is what I did. Yeah, that's what I... It's, how, it's much, it's much easier to see. Otherwise, I would have just been nitpicking every five seconds. Yeah, because there, there's a lot of CGI to nitpick, but uh, we went in knowing that because we saw it in the trailer. And so that's what we were expecting. Yeah. So, but I, like I said, I, I still really enjoyed the film a lot. I enjoyed and, it. And I, I can definitely see why Indians would love it. Yeah, that, that's the thing for me is I'm, I'm confident. It was great to see so many people there. Uh, I, I hope this does justice to the story because we're both real big sticklers on if you're going to tell a story from history, get it right. They do put it, uh, I thought this was nice. Um, they put a big disclaimer at the front. Mm hmm Letting everybody know, look, we know we probably made some mistakes. We aren't trying to retell anything. If we've offended anybody, mm -hmm. you know, they really uh, they like a full paragraph yeah. disclaimer on the screen. Uh, I I can see why Indians would be very very invested in this movie and want to see this story on the on the screen yeah. in very much the same way here when black panther came out yeah so many black americans were so thrilled to see a story being told that's never told absolutely i would imagine because i don't know how often this story's been put into cinema might not have been because this is unsung yeah um so who knows 
Uh, worth, yeah. worth seeing. Definitely worth seeing. I'm sure you've already all seen it because of I know how big of a, a thing it is right now and how well it's doing at the box office. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Saif Ali Khan, do more villain roles. Yes. Uh, when he was just slashing people at the end mm -hmm. and that whole sequence, that was a great sequence. The great CGI sequence. was really good in that part of it. And Saif was just having the time of his life slashing people around. Do more villain yes. roles. And justice for Ajay Devgan. Ajay Devgan was... He never needed justice. We loved him every single yeah, time. He, he, he was... I I thoroughly believed and enjoyed him yeah, in this. Absolutely. Yeah. Let us know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And... We gotta go see another movie. Yeah. Gotta go. Bye.